Hello guys, Switchy here, and today I'm gonna teach you how to juke with LeBlanc. I'm going to be going through the very basics and the easiest things about juking, some intermediate stuff, and for some of you that want to like juke for real, some advanced stuff. So let's get going. First off, we're gonna start off with LeBlanc's second ability, or her W ability, which is called Distortion. When LeBlanc uses this ability, she leaps to target locations. So if you click this, you can jump this way, and she'll leap there. And you can reactivate it and appear at the spot you started. So it's gonna be a little circle there. If I'm running this way, and I W, I can W back and start running the other way. So as you see here, I start by the inhibitor, I W away, and I run. And as you see this marker here, I reactivate it and I'm all the way back here. So I was almost over here when I reactivated it. And if the enemy is right behind you here, it's going to be a long distance towards here again. I'm going to show you a very basic juke with LeBlanc, which only contains of her W and not her ultimate. So if you step in this bush and you're getting ganked by the jungler, you can step in this bush, W away. And then when you run away, you can W back in the bush and recall. Jumping over walls is also very good with LeBlanc because let's say you're low on health and you're getting chased by an enemy right here. If you W over here, he might flash over to chase you and then you can just W back and he's on the other side. Then you can just run this other way under your tower and be safe. This ability is also great for just dodging skill shots. So let's say an Ezreal is aiming at you right here and you stand still. You can basically just W away from his uh, ability. And if he sends a W here, you can jerk away from that as well. Without using any extra mana. Now for the ultimate. The ultimate is basically the same as all the other abilities depending on which one you choose. So as you see here LeBlanc can cast a mimic version of the previous spell she cast. So if you call, if you cast an E like over here, you can cast your ultimate to cast another E. But for the juking we're only going to use this for the W. Now when you cast your W the circle around is yellow right here so if you click it again you'll appear at the yellow spot now this also works for the alt but this isn't yellow this one is blue or purple I'm colorblind so don't judge me so when you use this ability you can cast it and then click it again to appear at this spot and then your W is still up so you can use both of these at the same time to do it so you can W here and alt here W there and alt there so you can basically just juke all around there. Only your imagination is holding you back. So everywhere you think you can do a juke, you do it. You experiment with it. But I'm going to show you some very basic jukes containing the, both the W and the ultimate. This is a very basic juke I like to call back and front. Because you basically go back and then front. So let's say you're getting chased from behind here. You start here with your W. W away and run. If you activate it again, you can ult this way and run this way. So you'll be able to get out of there just fine. So, any moves. And then you run here, W. W back and then ult this way. Very basic. This juke is very useful when you're standing in a bush. So let's say you're getting chased through the jungle. You W out of the bush, run away, reactivate it and ult towards the jungle. So you'll be able to run through here. This is a juke I like to call back home. Now, let's say you're standing in a bush. This works best if you're in a bush or somewhere hidden. So, let's say you're in a bush. You can use the W and the ult to use it all in one direction. So they run like far towards you. So you W, ult, and then activate your W again. And you're all the way back and you can recall because they're perhaps over here already. And they won't see what's coming. This is also a very famous move called the brushy brushy trick. 
created by SaveHD. This is basically the homecoming trick I just show you, but you, you do it over a wall. So in the heat of the moment, if you're getting chased through here, you can W here, Alt over, they'll jump over, and then come all the way back here, because they might be over here even. This is a juke I like to call double choice. Now, basically what this does is it makes you have two choices basically so if you're getting uh, this is often used when in the top lane right here where there's three bushes or in the bot lane right here so what you're basically gonna do is you're gonna stand in this bush in this bush and you're gonna W here and then alt here and then you can activate your W again to appear here or activate your ult to appear here so this is basically going to confuse your enemies because they're going to have to choose which one they're going to check and you can also activate it and get there so you're going to do like this ult so if they come here you activate this and if they come here you activate this and you can recall if you have a lot of cooldown reduction this can be pulled off very easily because you w to here and then ult here you can activate it again and then you'll have enough time to get your W up again and be able to run away. So there are a lot of possibilities with this. This is just the basic one. You have to do the rest of it yourself. There are also some places in the jungle where you can juke very easily or not very easily, but relatively easily uh, with your enemies not knowing anything about what's going on. So this is an example of this. You W here, bolt here, and then flash over here then they're gonna even think you're going back here or there because they have no idea so this basically looks like this this is a juke I like to call zigzag now basically what this does is you W over here and then you ult here now you can choose to W all the way over here again if they flash over or if they don't just to keep recalling there so there there if they flashed over there, you just go back, and if they don't, you just keep staying there. This can be combined with flash, because you W over here and there, and then you flash over here, but that's really risky, so if you want to try that out, you will try that out. I'm basically just going to show you some spots where you can do some jukes in the jungle. This has little to do with LeBlanc herself, but this is just a really good trick to juke with almost every single champion. So, basically, what you're gonna do is you're gonna be chased from here and pretend like you're flashing over here, but instead flash over here. So, if you see the flash range is actually barely over there. So, if you run into this like tree right here, if you can chase from here, you can actually pull this off by just flashing over here instead. If your opponents are really, really greedy, place a ward here to see them flash over and trying to, you know, chase you. So basically you come here, run over here, then you flash over here. And it's gonna look like you flashed over there. Now, this juke I'm gonna show you right now is something that uses LeBlanc's passive. When LeBlanc drops below 40% health, she becomes invisible for one second it creates a mirror image that deals no damage and lasts up to 8 seconds. So basically, it's going to create another LeBlanc that just runs around derping. And you can control this LeBlanc by holding in ALT and right clicking. So that will move the clone while you stand still. So this can be used uh, as a maneuver uh, in, when you drop below 4% health. You can just stand still and make the clone move and they'll run after the clone. And then when they're over here, you can start juking this way. There are so many jukes for LeBlanc to do, and you all, you just have to make them up yourself. You have to see, you know, the um, the chances that you have, and you need to take them. You need to try to, you know, come up with new jukes because the only limit 
is your imagination. So everywhere you see that, oh, I can make a juke here, you do it. You try out new things, and you become a LeBlanc master. So I am not really going to show you anything advanced, because there is nothing advanced. It's only her passive W and her oats. So you just have to figure it out yourself. Good luck.